What is the main problem we have when we decide to make a painting? How do we make it pop? How do we make it stand out? In this video, I am going to show you how. And it's not at all what you think, so stay with me and let's find out. And of course, if you like this video and you find it useful, make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep posting videos like this in the future. Well, everyone tells you that values are the most important thing to get right on a painting. But that is only partially true. And after many years of painting, I found out that you can get all the values right on a painting. And still the painting may look lifeless and lack a spark. Because if you reduce your painting to values, and I am having this one right here as an example. This is three pairs and it's a painting that I'm going to be painting very soon and I'll be posting a video about that and this is the first part of that video show you the thinking process and how I do this let's reduce this right here to the values all right now you have the same photo right here with values reduced to nine I chose nine because that way you can see all the complexity of the pairs right here all right and you can see this is short you can see all the values here because if you just paint from a photo without regard for values or color how are you gonna paint this how are you gonna paint the background this looks great this looks, the table looks green, this pair looks yellow-brown, this looks yellow-green, this looks like brown. It would be boring. How do you really see all the nuances in here? Now, sure, the red on the table is more identifiable than the background, but the background needs to be very important because the background supports all the elements in the composition, right? So how do I really see color here? Well, you can say, well, I can reduce this to the values, and that way, at least you see different shades right here, but you're still talking about gray. This is a darker gray than this one. This is a darker gray than this one, but they're still grays, right? And that is really not that interesting. So how can I make this easy to see and interesting where I can really see color in the background and real color, different nuances of colors all over the pairs on the table? Well, you do this with a tab called Posterize. Now I'm going to show you in just a minute. Now we're going to reduce this to level six. Now level six is interesting, but mm, it's kind of simple, right? I really would like to have this a little bit more complex. So we're gonna get this, instead of level six, level nine, where you can see the warms and the cools throughout. All right. Now, right here, this is the level nine. Now look at this. You have warm here, cool, warm, cool, warm, cool. And the interesting thing is they're all versions of the complementary colors. This is red, this is green, red, green, red, green, all throughout, right? And now the background will be more interesting, far more interesting. We paint it with all these different nuances because temperatures and shifts are more complex than the values. And I'm gonna show you why. If you put the values right next to it, you're going to see, we're going to make this smaller so you can see on the whole screen. How Right here, it looks like one value, right? 
but in reality is two different color temperatures. This is cool right here and this is warm, but here it reads just like one. But if you paint with the color temperature in mind, or just the value, you're gonna have, look in the, between this one and this one, there's the beautiful, delightful green that breaks this. In here, this is just dark and lighter and lighter still. But in here, you have six. You have warm, cool, warm, cool, warm, instead of three. One, two, three. In here, you have six because it's divided among temperature. And this is far more interesting. Now I'm gonna do it up close right here. I'm gonna show you how you can see it in the pair as well. Warm, cool, more greenish than warm, than cool. Now, the temperatures, the colors get lighter and lighter and lighter, but there's still versions of warm, cool, warm, cool all throughout. You can see it in the table as well. Look at the table. This is green right here. Green and red and green in between. So you even see it, the difference in the table and the, the red that we have right here. All right. Now I'm going to show you paintings that I did in the past. This is an old painting. It's probably 15 years old, but you can see it, how all the colors are separated, the left side of the face. This is unpainted, this is painted, and you can see all the different temperatures sits in here, green and red and all throughout. This is not blended, all right? I took a photo before I blended. You can see it in the neck as well to show you. Now this is another one. And you can see all the strikes in here. Now I've come a long way since then. This is a long time ago. And I don't, I don't paint as linear as this. I'm a lot more organic in the way I paint, but still the principle is the same. You can see the warm and the cool all throughout. Far more interested. This side is now blended. This is blended. Now in the finished paintings, you can see it that even though the colors are blended, but you see the green and the red and the green, how is far more interested all throughout, even in the background, a lot more interesting when you paint that way. This is another one, another portrait that I did where you can see, I love the charcoal because I thought that the after qualities were beautiful, but you can see all the warm and the cool all throughout even in the eyes, the hair, the lips. Look at it here in the cheek. You can see the green right here and the red and then the green. So I painted with that in mind and that way all the different colors dance around and it's far more interesting. Now, this is a rose painting right here. See, I painted the same way. I started putting the color separated before I blended it. And this is a finished one and you can see how you can see the cool, the, the blue and the orange complementary colors, yellow, purple complementary colors throughout. And it's very interesting this way. Now, I saw this painting and I saw this one right here too, pretty much immediately after I finished them. They're two of my favorite paintings I've ever done. But you can see that the principle is the same, whether you do uh, a pair, whether you do a face, doesn't matter what you do. So I'm going to show you how you find that and how do you do it. So how do you transform a regular photo like this one into the posterized version or the value temperature version? How do you do it? Well, if you go at the top, we're in Photoshop editors right here. You do at the very top of the screen, there's something that is called filter. You click on filter and then you click on adjustments and then you go to posterize. Right here, the default level is four. Now four is a little too rough. See, you don't really, the colors are too garish, right? So the higher the number, the more complex until you get to a point that is almost indistinguishable from the original. See, this is 21 levels and it's too much because this looks just like the original, right? So you wanna go less than that. And ideally anything under 11, 
And I have a favorite, which is nine, because nine is complex enough. I think on a value scale of nine is complex enough to really show you everything without, you know, let me close this off. So I only have one thing on the screen here. All right. Always ask you, are you sure you wanna save that? I didn't make any changes, you know. It's, this is the only one right here I wanna show you. And we are going to I'm going to show you from the very beginning. So how do you transform this into the beautiful value shifts and temperature that I just previously showed you? Again, we go to filter, then we go to adjustments, then we go to posterize, and immediately breaks the colors. And the default setting is four, but four is not enough. So I like to do it all the way to nine, and I'm gonna paint it like this with nine levels, because that way I can see all the different temperature shifts in here, and all these colors are just delightful. Whether they were in there before, before they were in there, See, we cancel and now it's all gray, right? What happened? So right there in a nutshell is the reason why I do not think the values are the most important thing in a painting, whether I used to think, but I really believe that temperature is.